Hello, in this video, we will discuss about serilog syncs and write logs into a text file. The following are the sections for this video. First, we will define syncs as a recap from the other video. And then we will discuss what from log context enricher is. Then we will finalize our write to console template and then we'll move on to writing to a file. Then we'll discuss other concepts like interval, minimum level, and minimum level override. If you want to follow along, which I recommend, you can download the code from this GitHub repository. The link will be provided in the video description below. Syncs enables us to write our logs to different places like text file database or log management application. In the previous video, we wrote our logs in a console app. Now, we will be writing our log to a pre-built sync, which is a text file. After cloning our source code, let's now hit Ctrl tilde, cd api, .net, watch run. So this will run our application. Okay, now let's proceed to program.cs, API program.cs, and then in the configure logger, let's add the log from context. So enter that enrich from log context, and then we'll prepare the template in the right to console. So output template. And let's key in the timestamp year, month, day, and hour, minute, second. And then we'll add here the source context, which is from the from log context. This one will identify where the log came from, so it's important to put in level B3. By the way, this template mostly comes from the Serilog git documentation so message lg new line exception okay save control tilde let's see what happens Okay, so now you can see the date is okay, and then this is the source of the log, and this is the type, and then the message. So at this point, you may customize your output template. So for me, I'll be adding a correlation ID. So to do this, I'll go to startup.cs. Services that add HTTP context accessor, and then let's go to Nuget Package Manager, Control Shift P, Nuget Gallery, Serilog that enrich that correlation. Correlation ID, install this in the API. Okay, press any key. Close this first. Then let's go to program.cs. Enrich. 
the tweet correlation ID. Okay. Then here after the date, I want to add the correlation ID. Okay, in Swagger, let's go to membership and then get all membership. Execute. So we see the membership here. Okay, now so you can see here there's a correlation ID. So you can now group them together. So this came from the same transaction. Get uh, get membership, please. So what happened is called the HTTP and then it ran the stored procedure then it showed the result okay so now let's add the right to file so here the console right to console that right to that file so you can add as many right to you want so now we'll add the right to file folder name so this is my desired location inside the logs then log, logs that text and then you can you must remember to put double backslash and then we'll indicate the output template just copy this over paste it here tilde again then I will invoke the get membership again so there's the log so in the log.txt you can see the logs are also being stored there so because we don't want our log file to be big, we want to separate them by date. So we add here the rolling interval. So rolling interval. And we add it as rolling interval that day. You can add others as you can see here. So once you save, So we need some logs again. Okay, I just run the get membership again. Okay. So now if you go to the logs folder, you can see that it's separated by the date. So this is the previous one we created and then this is the new one. So tomorrow this will, there will be another file created okay so the next thing we want to tackle is the number of logs being recorded so to do this we have to add the minimum level so right now we can add the minimum level for application layer so it's information so any log that we put in the application will be stored in our log and then we want to filter other logs from different sources so like in this ASP.NET Core uh, we don't want to see this because there's a lot of things going on right so we can override that minimum level that override okay then we copy this part ASP core see if we can copy paste okay then we want this to be serilog that events that log level 
that warning only. Okay, so I'll call again the endpoint. still saving okay then let's call the endpoint again so now you can see there are less lugs so you can still see the entity framework database command so you can still see the stored procedure so maybe we'll override this also to information level menu level override then copy this one and just say serilog that events that log event level information And again the okay so nothing changed it just lags at the information level so as a summary you can use write to file to write to a text file we can use rolling interval to separate this file by date day or year and then the minimum level you can use to filter out the logs according to to the level of the warning like information or fatal or warning there are more advanced things we can write to an application or to a database so if you want to know more about this just let me know in the comment below maybe we'll create a video for sync to kibana or seek that's all for this video. Please hit like and subscribe to help me reach out to more people. Comment below for questions and topics you would like to be discussed. Thank you and good day.